I'm going to show you how to use the blend shapes so that you can get started with this part of the project. Um, this is the project that I uploaded to GitHub, and this is one of the Lincoln test scenes. I think there are four scenes in total. Um, this is the one that I'm using, example one Lincoln. And uh, let's see. So to, well, I'll start by expand, showing you how to expand Lincoln's blend shapes, and then we can look at the make human stuff. So this Lincoln character is what has the lip sync script. And here you can see all the phonemes and which blend shapes they correspond to and stuff. To see the actual blend shapes, you click his body. Um, the body is basically, well, this is a mixed mode character, so the body includes his face and hands, I think. But anyway, you can see his blend shapes here, and they go from 0 to 100%. Um, like how much, how active they are. Uh, so you can see this is how it works. Um, they're just, like I said, blend shapes are just delta transforms. Um, they're not really, they're not exactly end poses. They're more like how much do you, based on the weights of the vertices, how much do you transform each point? Um, but in any case, it doesn't matter. Uh, so to expand on Lincoln, uh, his model is here, examples, uh, models. Otherwise, the way you could find it is by clicking his body and just clicking the mesh, and it'll bring you to this. It'll it'll show this. So if I'm on a different folder and I click this, it'll bring me here. Then you can go, you can right-click him and do Show in Explorer, and it'll show you the FBX that he is made of. And so open Blender and we'll import him and start working on him. Uh, let me turn the screencast on. Uh, you can see what I'm, you can see what keys I'm typing on the bottom left. Um, and this to open up the transform window here. So, oops. You can go ahead and import FBX. Go to the folder where Lincoln is, which is this one, and import him. And uh, Mixamo has this weird vertex thing. I don't know what it is, but since we're not using Lincoln, it doesn't really matter. This is just for testing purposes. Um, this is his mesh. Uh, to go through this kind of view, you just hit Shift F, and you can use the mouse wheel to make it zoom faster or slower. And WASD is to move. It's just a useful visualization tool. Um, this part is what they consider his body, so like I said, his face, his hands, and it looks like part of his feet. And this is what we'll basically be applying the blend shapes to. Um, also, this is his skeleton. Uh, you can only see part of it because it's inside of him, but if you want to see the entire thing, you go to the, this right part here, and click x-ray, and you'll see his, all of his bones. Now. I don't remember, so I don't actually know how they generated this mesh, but they didn't give us access to the face, so we can't exactly get any more detail with Lincoln. Maybe it's because it's lip sync light and they didn't want to give us as much control because it's free or something. I don't really know. But you can see Lincoln's existing uh, shape, I mean uh, blend shapes here under shape keys. These are all of the same ones that appear in Unity here all the same ones, and you're basically going to be replicating these, and you should try to more or less keep the names the same, I mean, I don't really know why you would change them. Uh, to see what the blend shapes actually are, uh, you can either go into edit mode and then click on them, and you'll see they transform, or what you can do is, in object mode, you can click, this is the basis, so this is just his rest pose. Uh, you can change the value here, and you can see how to create phonemes, you basically just merge a bunch of blend shapes. That's why blend shapes are just specific expressions, really simple expressions and not entire facial poses, because it would be harder to interpolate if these were all like, if you only had like 10 shape keys, you wouldn't be able to get as detailed. Um, 
in any case, let's say that I want to create a new blend shape. I'm going to set all these back. Zero, zero, zero. Okay. So because I can't actually change his face, um, cause they didn't give us face bones. I'm just going to make a simple blend shape, like moving his head. So what you'll want to do in, we'll see in make human, but in make human, you'll have to work with the skeleton anyway. So it's fine to just practice this way. So if you go into pose mode, uh, these are his neck bones and stuff like that. If you go to the armature menu and click names, you can see what they are. Um, let's say I want to make some simple pose like this. I want to make some blunt shape like this. This isn't really what you would use blunt shape for because it's not a facial expression, but just for the sake of examples. Let's say you want to make this a blunt shape. What you would do is pose him like this, click the body part where the blunt shapes will be applied, um, go to his modifier, and apply this as a shape key, which will basically apply this pose as a blunt shape. So it'll do this. Um, I've, as, basically, right after you do this, you'll want to create another armature modifier, um, just so that you can create blunt shapes in the future. Um, so we created the blend shape and before we look it out, uh, before we check it out, um, you should just reset its pose. You can do that with Alt R, S, and G. You, in this case, you really just need Alt R because that's rotation. Uh, Alt S is scale and Alt G is transform. I mean, uh, translation. But anyway, this is his rest pose again. If you click his face and go to modifiers, you'll see that he has this new armature. I mean this new blend shape called armature and it's this blend shape. So it doesn't follow his head because of the way that they split up the mix mode thing. And like I said, you wouldn't use blend shapes to do this kind of thing anyway. But uh, you can see how it works. And to rename it, you can double click the name here and call it whatever you want, like a uh, head rotation. And if you were to re-import this into Unity, it would appear here. And then if you really wanted to, you can use it to change phone names or something with add blend shape. But you don't have to worry about that right now. So this is how you modify Lincoln. And we're not at the stage where we're going to use this in Unity yet. But if you would, you would just export as an FBX and, you know, we'll work on that later. We'll just be basically just re-import it to Unity and get it working with Lip Sync. So um, to do the same thing with Make Human, I will start from scratch. Um, when you download Make Human, if you have a zip file, then you'll get all of this stuff. So you can open up the executable. And you'll get this guy. Um, scroll wheel is zoom in and out. And if you hold the mouse wheel and move your mouse around, you can pan. Uh, rotate, I think, is left click. Yeah. Okay, so you get this guy. And, um, well, I guess it's just androgynous, but I'll just make it a, a guy to make this more comfortable. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, you can change things like his skin color over here. Um, you probably don't have to worry about that as much since you're just creating blend shapes, but if you want to change skin color and textures and stuff, you can do that here. But um, I'm just not going to edit him at all right now. Um, in this pose animate section, you can create the skeleton. Just use default, which is the one that comes with the entire facial rig and his fingers and all this other kind of stuff. It's basically the most detailed rig, and it's exactly what we need. Um, you should make sure that he has a tongue. Again, it doesn't really matter because you're just defining the blunt shapes at this stage, but he really should have a tongue. Yeah, like, but for some reason, by default, he doesn't have one. And the tongue adds a lot of detail to the face. Um, yeah, so he has a skeleton. We can go to files, uh, Export as an FBX, so select FBX, 
decide where you want to export him, let's say, make him an example. We will export him. We'll go into Blender. Import him. It will create this really ugly thing. Um, I don't really know why the rig is so ugly. I think it's just a file format thing or uh, just some kind of weird system that MakeHuman uses. I don't really know. But to make it more manageable, you can go into the armature section. Make uh, You don't need x right now, but turn it into a wire and use names. I find that this is the only way to make this manageable. I've tried every conceivable way of making them smaller and just none of them work. I don't know why. So to work with the make human skeleton, you need to change one thing in the beginning, which is uh, we need to set the rest pose to be different because otherwise it'll do this annoying thing where the rest pose is different and it'll it'll make a, it'll well it'll just ruin the blend shapes completely because it will always assume that his initial position is this one which obviously doesn't make sense you can click rest position here and see what's happening so to fix this all you have to do is click the armature go to the armature section hit rest position um, go into pose mode select all the bones with a so let me go on let me turn my screencast on select all the bones with a do a control A and apply pose as rest pose. And so when you go back into this mode and go to pose position, you'll see that he is back in this situation. And then you can rotate him on the x axis in the negative direction. And his armature will have. Actually, he's fine, I guess. Yeah, he's fine. If he had some kind of rotation here, then you would want to apply it normally with Control A and apply rotation and scale and such, just to avoid problems in the future. But he looks okay. As long as when you go into edit mode, his body aligns with the skeleton, then it's fine. So, um, right now, he doesn't have any shape keys. You can just add a basis. And so let's make some basic animation for him. Or not animation, but pose. Um, I'm just going to open his mouth. Um, I find, again, the bones are hard to see because of what Make Human did here. So what you can do is just click them manually, go up here, and go through this structure. Uh, the skeleton basically goes from here upwards so you just have to go through the spine and neck structure all the way to his head so yeah here's his jaw you can rotate it and let's say that I want this to be some blend shape so you set this go here to the modifier section applies a shape key it will do it'll reset him because it change the modifier. Just make sure to add the armature again and reset his pose. But in any case, um, you'll see here that he has this one. He'll, he has this one shape. So mouth open. Let's see if this is one shape key. And in Unity it'll import him with two shape keys instead of as many as he has right now. Uh, then we can make some other shape key, like uh, let's say that he's like gnawing on something. So I make some shape like this. Um, I will apply it as a shape key. Go through this again, and just go through the whole works. This is why I said this. This is, this would be tedious, not necessarily difficult. Just apply his pose again. And when you click on the guy, you'll see that he has this one. And so this is like grinding motion or something. I don't know. But um, you can see where shape keys become useful. I mean, blend shapes can become useful when you do some kind of linear combination of them. You can see that 
if you have a lot of blend shapes, you can get to a really, uh, really detailed facial expression. Um, so this is it for now. I don't. I guess this is all you would need to get started. So you can just let me know if you have questions. But hopefully this was helpful enough. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye.